Okay, so the first multiplication trick I'm going to be talking about is when the tens digits are the same of two digit numbers. Okay, so let's just name these as x and x. And the unit digit, when you add them, it's 10. So let's just name this y and z. And put here y plus z is equal to 10. Always. That's always true if you want to use this multiplication trick. Let's head into some examples. Okay, first example. Let's do 86 multiplied by 84. So, what we're going to do here is you're going to multiply the unit digit. So, 6 multiplied by 4. It's 24 in this case. And then, you're going to take this number, the any of the tens digits, because they're both the same, and then you're going to multiply it by the next following number. So, in this case, 8 multiplied by 9, which is equal to 72. And then write that in front of this. And we get our answer of 7224. Another example. Let's say 36 multiplied by 34. Okay, so you're going to multiply the last two digits, 24, and multiply by the next following number. So 3 multiplied by 4, which is 12. 12, 24. Now, let's move on to our second multiplication trick. Okay, so the second multiplication trick has no restrictions. You can multiply anything. But you just have to number the top, the top of the number. So, let's take an example. 42 multiplied by, let's say, 83 as an example. Okay, now the unit digit is always going to have a 0, and the 10 digit is going to have a 1, 100 digit is going to have 2. just keeps going like that. And you're going to write them as that. Now, you're going to look how many possibilities when you add them to get 0. Okay, let's see. 0 plus 0 is the only possibility to get 0. Because 0 plus 1 or 0 plus 1 again, 0 plus 1 or 0 plus 1 is never equal to 0. Okay, so now two, then you just multiply them. So 2 multiplied by 3, which is equal to 6. Now, that has no carry forward, so we don't have to remember that. Now, how about 1? Now, you might be thinking these two and these two. Well, no, that can never happen. You just have to multiply it like sideways. So sideways, sideways. And remember, you're going to add them. So 3 multiplied by 4 plus 8 multiplied by 2, because that's how you make 1. You might think that these two make 1. Well, that's not how the multiplication tricks work. It's only sideways. Okay, so these two. That's 12. When you multiply them, 12 plus 2 multiplied by 8, 16, which is equal to 28. So now you write the 8 here and take the 2 as your carry forward. This is used for math facts. If you have the math facts, you can do this simply in your brain. Right now, let's do it on the board. Okay, now, since it has a 2 carry forward, you're going to do 8 multiplied by 4, which is equal to 32, and then add 2. Why do we multiply by 8 multiplied by 4? Because 1 plus 1 is 2. Now we're seeing how many 2's possible ways you can get. So 32 plus 2, now it's 34. And since we don't have any other numbers on the side, then this should be your answer. Here's another example. 39 multiplied by 92. Okay, so how many ways are there to make 0? These. Okay, so now you're going to multiply them. 8 with 1 carry forward. So remember that in your mind. Okay, now how many ways are there to 1? Except for the crosses, like these. 2 multiplied by 3, which is equal to 6. And 9 multiplied by 9, which is equal to 81. Now you're going to add them, not multiply them, add them. 16 plus 81 which is equal to 97. And then we had one of carry forward. So 97 plus one is 98. This might seem really hard, but when you know your math facts, it's gonna be way easier than you think. Okay, now we have the carry forward of nine. Nine multiplied by three, 27. 27 plus nine is equal to 36. So three, six, eight, eight. Let's hop into one more example. Okay, here's the example. 98 multiplied by 89. Okay, so let's just write the top numbers. Okay, now, how many words in 0? 8 multiplied by 9. So when you multiply that, we get 72. So 2, 7 carry forward. Keep that in mind. Now, 9 times 9, 81. 81 plus 64. That is equal to 155. How did it get 64? Well, 8 multiplied by 8. So 165. And we had how much of a carry forward? 7. So it's going to be 162. Write the 2 here. 16 carry forward. And now 8 multiplied by 9 plus 16. 8 multiplied by 9 is equal to 72. And 72 plus 16 is 88. 
Now you guys might be thinking, how am I doing these calculations fast? Once again, I'm reminding you, you should learn your math facts. You'll easily be doing able, able to do this in your mind in less than 10 seconds. So our answer is 88,222. Let's move on to the next multiplication trick. Okay, now the last multiplication trick. Well, so what you're going to do, you have to multiply by 11. So whenever it's multiplying by 11, here's a simple trick. Pretend it was A, B, multiplied by 11. Then the answer would be A, A plus B, and then A, B, I meant, sorry. So, but these are three digits. So let me just underline them. So A, A plus B, and B. Those would be the three digits. But however, if A plus B has a carry forward, then the carry forward would add to A. Okay, so let's just head into an example so it makes more sense. Let's do, let's say, 23. 23 multiplied by 11. Okay, now we don't have to calculate this as we know our trick. Okay, so just A, 2, now 2 plus 3, 5, and 3. 2, 5, 3. We can even check this. Let's do it here. And it's correct. It's the same number. All right, now let's move on to how to do three digits. Well, let's take an example of 192, let's say. We multiply to 11. Okay, so now we're going to take the last number, place it down. It's going to be the same. Okay, now we're going to add the last and the tens digit. So 2 plus 9, 11. So we'll just write here 1 because the carry forward is going to move on. Now we just add 9 plus 1, 10. The carry forward, plus 1, 11. So 1 here, 1 more carry forward. Now 1 plus 1, because we got the carry forward, is 2. So 2, 1, 1, 2. Let's even check, let's check this. So let's just write one, 192, let's by 11, right over here. And let's solve this. And as you can see, it's the same exact answer. Now, we know the formula for solving this. We just take this number, put it at the end, add these two, add these two, take this number, put it at the front, right? So now let's move on to a five-digit example. Okay, so here's the five-digit example. So we're gonna bring the unit digit just here, seven. Now add these two, 15, so put the five here, and one, carry one. So we'll just write a carry as one, and yeah, okay, now, Eight, mo 8 plus 3, 11, so plus the 1 carry forward, 2. 1 carry forward again, 1 here. Now, 9 plus 3, 12, plus the carry forward, 13. 1 carry forward, 9 plus 1, 10. 10 plus 1 carry forward, 1. And then the carry forward is just here. When we carry it, 1 plus 0 is 1. 1, 1, 3, 2, 5, 7. That's a big number. So let's just test this. 1, 9, 3, 8, 7. Let's apply by 11. So let's solve this. And as you can see, it's the same exact number. So that means this trick works. So 113257 should be our answer.